I'm Guy Newing, I'm the founder of Immunify Life. We're an international medtech startup company and our vision is to use the latest in blockchain technology to address some of the world's most serious health issues. Over the last five years I've been working, travelling across Africa, visiting uh, leaders, state leaders, ministers, key clinicians to try and understand their health issues and to look at ways that we can apply technology to make a real difference. HIV in Kenya is a, is a major problem with 1.5 million people infected with the disease and 42,000 new infections every year. So I'm delighted to be here in Kenya at the moment, in Kakamanga County, uh, and we are kicking off the study as we speak. My name is Jesse Karaoke Mainge. I'm an Uber driver, and I like my job as a profession. Those who are HIV positive, many of them are in, in the rural areas, and access to the medical health is a challenge. This dispensary serves as a catchment area for majority of this uh, sub-county and uh, the population spans more than uh, 5,000. Uh, you know, the Health Center, na ni karibu tu kubukura anga yembi 50 minutes ama nususa hivu. As you can see from the highway, you realize that the terrain, the road, the mud in the road, especially when it rains, it becomes quite difficult for the patients to come here. Maybe come a condition you can complicate and don't have to refer to the hospital. Okay. Because in the dispensary, too, so I manage these complications. Okay. It's very complicated. In case of such, to have to have to refer to the hospital. Like, for now, I have to refer to the syrup that I have to under five. Mm -hmm. And I have to refer to the hospital. Drugs, at least for now, we have. Previously, we had an issue with the septic, but at least the supply has been consistent for some months. Though it's when it's, we, we just have a few packets. So I'm hoping my colleague who has just gone to the office will come with some more. If she doesn't get, maybe those who will come next week will miss septic. In fact, today it's very light. Other days you may come and find all the benches are filled and if others are lying in the, on the grass out there. It's not just out of their own will that they don't want to come and seek care, but there are other several challenges revolving around they are not coming to seek medical care. And uh, some of the issues include the socioeconomic status. The medical scheme in Kenya is not completely free, even in the, the, the basic health center, you have to pay. You will find some can't even afford to have to get bus fare to the nearest health center where they can get the medical facilities. Funds to bring them transport because that's uh, 50 shillings, that is uh, $0.5 dollar, is a big challenge for most people here to find because if they get that little amount, it is for them to buy food for their children. Mi naitwa Wile Sibwe nafanya kazi ya jiwakali aka hiyo inaitwa mjengo kazi ya mjengo nimeifanya kwa muda wa miaka tatu hivi so kitu yenye wanafanya wakenya wengi wapendani kwa madawa dawa ni ile mtu anapochukua hiyo dawa alafu kifika mahali unapata amepata nafu so yeye huwa anaona amefanya nini amepona na anaachana na hiyo dawa 
singana pande bwa ukimwi manya ndola anukutie mwo balawa anga buli mtu no nyara kuukila na chana apimwa na nyole kere nabwo na rewa ku misara singana obwando lange sikira bara mara tawe ro munda chani ya khamira ko ni ya khaulla ko kidogo wa khaba ko muramu wa khaulla ko burai na Allah isa khenda khaona na ari ge chindi chira nechi if we identify those patients who have uh, stopped their treatment, uh, we could identify possible ways as a team to enhance and even get solutions so that they can, they can be attended to. I'm sorry many people don't all, they fear go for their tests because it's traumatizing. One of the challenges is stigma. Uh, the students as well as staff feel to be stigmatized if they come for, for screening and testing and counseling for HIV AIDS. Well, one of the things that's uh, holding back health outcomes in Africa is their reliance on old systems, paper-based systems. This dispensary, you realize that we don't even have a, a laptop to feed in the data of the patients. <laughs> If you're using paper-based systems, uh, you don't have the ability to track patients over time. So it becomes very difficult to know who got lost and who is still there with us. But Applying technology that captures real-time patient data and tracks it over time, it empowers the decision makers and the people who are investing in healthcare to invest more and get better outcomes. Unless now you go through the files, then now you'll be able to find out who did not attend the clinic. One of the unique features of the HIV study that we're undertaking in Kenya is the use of uh, incentivization to drive greater compliance and adherence to therapy. And we believe this will lead to uh, vastly improved uh, patient outcomes. And at the same time, we'll be incentivizing healthcare workers to capture as much data as possible. Once again, data leading to better outcomes. Through our networking in Africa, we were introduced to the leaders at Masinda Malero University in Western Kenya. They're a large, highly reputable organisation that have a focus on science, technology, and partnering with organisations to do innovative work. Research is a major component in this university. Doing research uh, from the inception of this university, but our research portfolio has been growing. I mean, as time continues. So it started with education, and now School of Medicine has come in, and they are working together to make sure they see how to manage that, that, that issue. I believe we've found just the right partner to work with us to grow and to do further studies. I see that Kenya is uh, quite a sophisticated country. It's got good use of micropayment systems, very good um, use of mobile phone networks. So it is a, a prime opportunity for us to work with such a prestigious university to really make a difference. Uh, this project is uh, important to our university in terms of uh, how we are going to impart the life of the community which are in this area of Western Kenya. I'm Elizabeth Nangila Simeo. I am an office administrator in the unit called AIDS Control Gender and Disability Mainstreaming Unit. Yeah, my journey hasn't been that smooth. I actually knew my HIV status in 2008 when I was expecting my second born child. And I knew it through PMTCT when I had gone to attend the ANC clinic. And it was quite devastating for me. So the journey was long. I was started on ARVs, which also came along with many challenges. But I thank God eventually I gave birth to a baby boy who was, who, who was very okay. 
and uh, by that time we were, we were not breastfeeding the children, they are being given formula milk and that is what my son took. As we are talking now he's in Form 1 and he's very okay, he's HIV free. This study that we're kicking off with the university is a world first. We are using blockchain and cryptocurrency incentives to improve health outcomes. Our vision is to become a leading player, a leading catalyst in improving health outcomes, addressing the major health challenges around the world. Working with Immunify Life is a big blessing for us in the country because uh, you have brought in an, an innovation that actually comes in to sustain the lives of the many Kenyans who have been suffering. I'm so pleased that I'm part of the team of Immunify Live project. I think it's very important, it's a worthy cause that has come at the right time to solve some of the challenges we are currently facing. I find it's the right time and it's a God given. This is an opportunity for us as a university to move to the community and bring a change in their life. For sure, this project will succeed because of the people who are involved. The team is a strong team. I really enjoyed the time here in Kenya. It's a delight to see passion who, in people who um, really want to make a difference in the world. Seeing so no matter where you go in the world, fundamentally people want the same things. They want uh, food on the table and they want their health and they want their family to be safe. There is an African proverb which I've learned while I've been here. It goes something like this. If you want to travel fast, travel alone. If you want to travel far, travel together. And I think this is a nice way of summing up our, uh, our goals here in Kenya.